All right, guys, so Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly's Extreme Z Awakening details are officially here. And in today's video, we're going to check them out together and see how good Broly actually is now. Because before the EZA, he was borderline unusable, you know? So will people actually use Broly now with this EZA? Now, let's pop over. Oh, by the way, a huge shout out to the homie Goresh on Twitter for posting these translations very, very quickly. We really appreciate it. And let's start with his new leader skill. So post EZA, he's going to give extreme tech types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or super tech types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack causes immense damage and massively lowers defense. And his new passive is attack and defense plus 120%, attack plus 12%, and defense minus 6% per key sphere obtained. Medium chance to launch an additional super attack if three or more tech key spheres are obtained. So my initial impressions here, I mean, obviously I've only really been able to think about them for the last like 15 minutes. Um, initial impressions, he's pretty good. All right, he's pretty good. Now, the only thing I'm really disappointed by is the fact that his leader skill only went up by 10%. I was really hoping, I was really hoping that with the you know, 120% lead EZAs that they would start getting 150% leader skills for their respective types, right? So I was hoping for extreme tech types, you know, key plus three HP attack and defense plus 150%. And then, you know, the secondary like super type leader skill will be whatever, like 90% is fine. I'm okay with that. But I was hoping for 150% to kind of revive the mono, you know, team meta again, because that was honestly one of, if not, my favorite, I just had a lot of fun basically in the mono type meta, right? Like I was really enjoying running like only STR types or only tech types and so on and so forth. So uh, 130% isn't quite gonna revive that. I guess maybe in the future they will bring out like 150, 170% you know, mono type leaders and maybe we have to summon for them, but it looks like they're not doing that with the 120% EZAs, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, Super attack is fine, you know, instead of uh, greatly lowering defense, he now massively lowers defense, which which I believe is an 80% debuff to defense, which is huge. And his new passive gives him 120% attack and defense, as opposed to just 100% attack before. And he gets the same amount of attack per key sphere, but now his defense debuff is uh, minus 6% compared to minus 10%. But you also got to take into consideration that he gets defense on his, pa on his passive now as opposed to no defense before. So it's a huge difference. Right, he's gonna be much more capable defensively than he used to be. And uh, even if you get like, I don't know, like 10 key spheres, he's gonna be getting a ton of attack, but you're not gonna be at like zero defense, right? So it is a huge difference. He's still definitely not gonna be that useful for some of the harder events in this game, just because he's still gonna be a liability, right? Like let's say you get like five key spheres and he loses 30% defense, so now he's getting 90% defense. I mean, his defense is not gonna be good enough to actually tank any anything serious, you know what I mean? Like in Super Battle Road, especially like Extreme Super Battle Road, uh, when that comes out on Global, and uh, I mean, on JP, of course, they already have it, and I, I don't think he's gonna be very good for that. Uh, Legendary Goku event, he's gonna get destroyed. So, you know, it's a bit of a shame that he still loses defense on, a, on his passive. I really was hoping they would just do away with that completely. But it is what it is. He also has that medium chance to launch an additional super attack, which is about 25%, I believe, 25 to 30%. If you have three or more tech key spheres, which isn't too hard to do. So you can probably get that pretty consistently. So every once in a while, he will be giving you double supers, maybe even triple supers from his, you know, hidden potential system. So that's good. And also taking a quick look at the stats here. We got a uh, shout out to Hydros for these stats. So 19,683 attack, 11,162 defense, and 17,556 HP. That is actually amazing. All right, those stats are very, very impressive. Like that attack is borderline LR stats. Okay, like a maxed out LR, like on average has about like what, 20,000, 21,000 attack. So he's close, he's right there and uh, defense is pretty high as well, so good stats overall. Um, I was just hoping for maybe some more like some more unique mechanics, obviously a better leader skill, and something more interesting to like kind of make him stand out a bit. I mean, 
it, it's not a bad easy at all, man. I think he's actually quite good. I just feel like he's a little bit boring, all right? And uh, I'm sure he's going to do massive numbers, but I don't think he's going to do very well once again in harder events. And since the focus of the game has become, you know, much more defensive, right? Like before, like, you know, if you were looking at like two years ago, defense wasn't that important. Or maybe longer than that. I don't know, like two, two and a half, three years ago. Either way, like a while ago, Defense was not really something people paid attention to, but these days, defense is huge because these events keep getting harder and harder and the enemies keep doing more and more damage to you. So uh, yeah, it's a shame that he's still not going to be that good in some of these more difficult events, some of these newer events, right? So uh, I like it. Obviously a huge upgrade from before, but could have been better. You know, could have been better. Still really good though. Honestly, still really good. Not upset about it. I was just really hoping for the better leader skill. All right, like that's the main thing that I'm really disappointed by. I was hoping for 150%, man, so I can like run these 150% mono teams, but I guess that's not going to be a thing. I mean, still a minor upgrade. 130% is not bad, but uh, you know, it is what it is, man. That's life. Okay, so let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think about Tech Broly's EZA. Do you think it's good are you you know disappointed like some people are like like uh sumi here a little bit disappointed to bh i mean i don't blame you but i think it's really good man i i, I do think it's a good easy a like I, I don't find i don't see anything to really complain about um realistically like they weren't gonna make him mad broken or anything like that like i'm i know that like they still wanted to you know keep him somewhat you know, grounded, right? So he's still gonna do a ton of damage. Like, dude, 120% attack and defense, and then 12% per key sphere. With those stats, he's gonna hit super, super hard. But the lack of defense, still, man, is uh, it's gonna hurt him. All right, so he's good. But that's all I gotta say. Um, maybe once I have some more time to think about it, I'll have a different opinion. But right now, just based on my preliminary, you know, analysis my early impressions, I, I, I think it's fine. Like, I, I don't see, you know, why some people are super upset about it, but that's just me. All right, so once again, let me know your opinions. I wanna see what everybody thinks about the first 120% EZA, and, uh, you know, maybe hopefully some of the other ones that come out, like the Super Saiyan 4s or Cooler, for example. Like, Fizz Cooler is definitely my most excited, my most excited, my most uh, anticipated one, right? So. Hopefully they do something unique with him, you know, like when uh, AGL Super Vegito had the mechanic to like see super attacks, like something like that, something different that kind of makes them stand out, you know, it makes them unique, but Super Saiyan 3 Bro Broly right, <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 Broly right there, I can't even talk man, I'm tired, it's been a long day. Um, looking not bad looking pretty good and that's all i gotta say thank you guys so much for watching today's video shout out to the homie goresh once again for his amazing translations and uh, as always if you guys like today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.